Injective protocol still undervalued. What's going on guys, Randy here with another crypto video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, hit the bell notification, and if you would like more exclusive content from me, I post one to three times on my Patreon, link down in the description. All right, so we're gonna get into an injective protocol today. It's a project that I've had my eye on for a while and uh, actually called it out in the Patreon group just about uh, maybe two weeks ago when it was 14, it's went, it has went all the way up to $21 now. It's a project that has new partnerships, it seems like almost every day. It's a coin that I have, that, that I track on my Blockfolio app. And INJ is part of the Signals program that sends you news updates every time there's new news, anytime there's new partnerships. Like I said, it feels like every single day I'm getting news from Injective Protocol. So what is Injective Protocol? It's a decentralized trading platform on layer two of Ethereum. It boasts low fees, instant transactions, and access to stocks, crypto, forex, synthetic assets, and NFTs. All right, now over on the website, access limitless DeFi markets with zero barriers. Explore unlimited financial markets on Injective's fast, secure, and fully decentralized layer two decks. Now, INJ is backed by Binance, Pantera, Hashed, QCP Capital, Stark, CMS, Bitlink Capital, Nascent, Cumberland, Smile Research, Innovating Capital. So you might be wondering, what does Injective Protocol solve? What do they do? Most DEXs these days claim to be fully decentralized, but they're really not. And that's where INJ comes in. The common rationale against full decentralization is that efficiency and user experience are sacrificed. We at Injective reject this notion and have committed ourselves to turning the vision of a highly performant, permissionless, and fully decentralized exchange protocol into reality. And then now, how is INJ different? The biggest fundamental difference between Injective Protocol and other exchange is that we make exchange a decentralized public utility, which gives our users and community the resultant value capture from our exchange protocol. So the most recent news that really uh, sparked a fire under Injective Protocol was the news that Injective raises $10 million for a Robinhood alternative. Now, I'm sure everybody here is familiar with Robinhood. It has a really simple user interface and it's perfect for the new investor trying to get into uh, to buy stocks and also a few different cryptos. So INJ is going to come in and not only are they going to be a, be a crypto exchange, but also a decentralized stock exchange. So INJ raises this $10 million from their old friends Pantera Capital, Block Tower Hash, Cadenza Ventures, CMS, and QCP Capital, along with Shark Tank host and Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. Okay, Mark Cuban has been a longtime investor of Injective Protocol as well. So INJ is promoting itself as a decentralized and transparent alternative to Robinhood. Some investors are now distrustful toward Robinhood due to the GameStop shorting incident which Robinhood faced capital shortages and began to block trades. You may remember that from a, a, a little while back, I guess about a month ago now or so, where GameStop was being pumped to the moon and uh, Robinhood couldn't handle it. Something like Injective cannot block trades in the same way. It could see disgruntled Robinhood users move to its platform. Nevertheless, Robinhood remains a far more mainstream app. So anytime you have this a decentralized competitor come in, such as Injective Protocol, they have a long way to, to go and take share from something from from a company as big as Robinhood. But it's definitely possible. Look at Basic Attention Token, and the Brave Browser is slowly chipping away at the use of Google Chrome, Safari, Opera, and and the like. Injective Protocol doesn't have to be the number one app, but all you can ask to do is for them to start taking market share and. Uh, I think that's inevitably going to happen. All right, if you go over to INJ's blog, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So you can click the In the News tab, and it's going to tell you everything that's going on in the news right now. And go over to the blog and click on the Partnerships tab, and you'll see all the partnerships that they have been gaining, the ones that I just told you about, that I'm hearing about 
almost on a daily basis. Recently, they partnered with Uma. They were listed on the Gemini Exchange. They've partnered with Clayton, API3, Harmony, Band Protocol, Litten Tree, Persistence, Big Data Protocol, EasyFi, Kai Lin, Cardia Chain, Cartesi, Superfarm, Tidal, Parsec, Marlin Protocol, Avalanche. The list goes on here. This is, and this just goes back to February. If I were to keep on scrolling, you'll see all the partnerships that have been nabbed by Injective Protocol. Now, also, Injective Protocol is a proof of stake, so you can stake INJ tokens over on Equinox Staking and. Uh, Injective protocol is a proof of stake, and you can stake your tokens over on. You can stake your tokens with Equinox staking, and when you stake those tokens, Injective has been doing a surprise token drop. Most recently with Ramp, also with Parsec, and even ETH. Ten thousand dollars worth of ETH was dropped to random users earlier this year. Injective partnered with Ramp DeFi to launch cross-chain staking derivatives which would allow users to trade staking derivatives with leverage moving forward. Staking derivatives provide a world of opportunity as users will be able to take part in both staking as well as unique yield farming opportunities. In addition, RAMP will be added to the Injective Exchange and RAMP, will, and Ramp shall support the INJ token as a staking asset in the near future within its collateralized stablecoin protocol. So right now, if you stake your INJ tokens, you can earn 29% APY. And how these surprise giveaways work, 149 individuals were randomly chosen from the pool of stakers. This was done to ensure fairness and to also provide a meaningful reward amount to each user of those 149 people. The more INJ you stake, of course, the more rewards you'll get. Whereas on the lower end, if you stake only 100 INJ, you're going to receive less rewards in ramp nonetheless very cool we'll to be earning some extra tokens just for just for staking inj all right so right now injective protocol sits at 22 dollars and 51 cents a 139 rank on coin gecko market caps 534 million dollars with a 24 million circulating supply at the moment 100 million max supply you can see over the past 30 days it's been on on a nice upward trend here for INJ. I could continue seeing this do the same, but I still think it's undervalued, and I wouldn't be surprised if INJ went up to $200 during the peak of this bull run. With a 24 billion circulating supply, you know, it's somewhere between, you know, like a Bitcoin Cash that has 18 million and an Rware that has 33 million. So somewhere in, the, in between as far as circulating supply goes. So. You could expect if if INJ were to break the top 100, let's say in the Rware, Rweave spot, it's probably going to be a $35 coin. And if it were to ever break the top 10 in cryptocurrencies or the number 11 spot where Bitcoin Cash is, I mean, it could easily be a $500 coin. I really feel it'll be a top 100 coin when it's all said and done and a peak of about $200 per coin. So at $22, you're still early if you were to jump into this. Let me know down in the comments, what's your price prediction for top of the bull run for INJ? I think it could hit $200. Do you think that's too high or do you think it's too low? Let me know down below what is your prediction. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, check out my Patreon in the link, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Get up to $250 of free Bitcoin when you fund your BlockFi account. There are no lockup periods, so you can release your funds at any time. Earn up to 8.6% APY on USDC, BTC, ETH, LINK, and Litecoin. At the peak of the bull run, I'll be cashing out into USDC and earning 8.6% interest and also buying back in during the bear market. If you want to do the same, be sure to click the link down below in the description or the comment section to set up your BlockFi account.